In this video, we will be discussing this week in the professional development, development series, writing the perfect cover letter. So if you remember on last week, it was all it was all focused on the resume. This week, we're going to add on to that and it'll be the cover letter. So we know that the resume is to get you in the door for an interview. So usually when you get ready to apply for jobs or go on an interview, they will ask for your resume and a cover letter. And your cover letter always accompanies your resume. So we, I want in this lecture, we're going to show you exactly how the perfect cover letter should be when you get ready to start applying for a job. So the first thing when writing the perfect cover letter, we're going to discuss what a cover letter is, what is the purpose of a cover letter, the formatting, paragraph by paragraph of what should go in your cover letter, and things to keep in mind when you're creating your cover letter. So the first thing we need to ask ourselves is, what is a cover letter? A cover letter, like I just said, is nothing but a, comp a compliment to your resume. Cover letters are a narrative compliment to your resume. They're, they are a brief one-page document that helps expand on the experience you showcased in your resume. So if you remember on last week, I talked about your resume and when we got to the work experience, I told you all to do anywhere from three to five bullet points. Well, this will expand on those bullet points. So it will give a more in-depth information to your employer about what you have to bring to the table. So where your resume is just the snapshot, this is where you will actually go into detail on what you have to offer. It also highlights your motivations in applying for that position at that particular organization, and it showcases your personality and values. So it's going to highlight why do you want to work for this company? What is it about this organi organization, excuse me, why you would want to work for them. That's what your cover letter is going to handle, all of that information. And it's also going to showcase your personality. So what is it about you that is different from so many other applicants? What is that one thing that will make you different from everyone else? All of this help goes into your cover letter and to make, you, make your cover letter an actual great cover letter. So now we know what is a cover letter. So what is the purpose of a cover letter? The cover letter should highlight your academic, professional, and personal qualifications for the position to which you are applying. It should not be a restatement of your resume. Remember, because it's an add-on to your resume. Instead, you should select certain experiences to highlight to the employer. You might weave experiences together, telling how one experience led to another, or you might tell a story from one or two experiences that bring depth and detail not covered in your resume. So it's not going to mirror your resume because it's actually an add on to your resume. So you want to, if you know you have a quality or an experience that was that you want to actually go and expound on, that is where your cover letter comes into play. That's the experience that you're going to play up and that's the experience you're going to give the employee more detail about to ensure them that you are the right candidate for the position. So always remember that your cover letter is not exactly like your resume, but it is an add on to your resume. It's gonna add on, it's an add on feature if you might think of it like that. It's an add on feature to your resume. So now we've talked about what a cover letter is and we talked about the purpose of a cover letter. So our next thing that we will be focusing on again is the purpose of the cover letter. A compelling cover letter answers the, the why you and why them. So if you remember, I just said, what is it about you that's going to set you apart from the other applicants for the job? So on your cover letter, the first thing is should ask, why you? Focus, focus their attention on your most relevant and compelling qualification. What is it about you that is going to nail you the job? What is it about me why I should hire you instead of, let's just say, 10 to 20 other applicants. What are you bringing to the table that is different, unique? What skills are you bringing? What qualities are you bringing that will help my organization grow? What is it that you will be bringing? And why not them? Be sure to include a sentence to a full paragraph on what you want to work with within this particular organization. And then talk about the organization. Be sure to match your tone to the organization. So that means corporate, tends to be more formal than, mar than marketing or, nur or nursing. 
So if the if they look more the look is more formal, you want to go more formal. If it's a little bit more laid back, you want to go laid back. You want to show that you know about the company or the organization which you are applying for. You you do not just want to keep it cut and dry. You want to make sure that you appeal to the employer that you are trying to receive a job with. So now we're going to talk about what makes up a cover letter. So on your screen, you will see an example of a cover letter. I also will have an example on LMS. So at the very beginning, you will do your name, your address, the date that you are writing the cover letter, then the organization name or the um, person you are um, that will be doing the interview, their specific title, their organization, and their address. Then you will do your greetings, then you have your introduction paragraph, then you will have your body paragraphs, a closing paragraphs, then your salutations, then you will um, have your name uh, that will also be a uh, type name and your print signature. So that's how the format of the cover, the cover letter is. That's exactly how the format of it is. And we will get into what goes in each paragraph throughout this PowerPoint. So again, in your heading and greeting, it's gonna be your name, your street address, city, state, and zip code. All of it is Times New Roman 12 font. Always remember that Times New Roman 12 font. It will be that throughout the entire letter. That will be the business format for the letter. Again, the current date, the person's name. So in this example, I use Jane Smith and the position was the internship coordinator, the company and the address. And then your greetings is dear so-and-so. So dear Mrs. Smith, dear Mr. Smith. That is what we mean by the greeting. So now, after you get your heading and your greetings done, now you're going to actually get into the body of the cover letter and what each paragraph will signify. So the, the first paragraph is your opening paragraph. This will state the position to which you are applying, where you found out or heard about the position. Um, you can name drop if you have a direct connection um, within the corporation. That, that's everything that goes into that opening paragraph. Your next paragraph will be your academic introduction. So that's just going to focus on your academic side. So you're going to use, um, if definitely if it's related to your major, you want to definitely put that in there. You want to state the college you are attending, or if you already graduated, what degree you received, what degree you received, and from what college or university you received your degree and relative classes that you did while you were in your undergrad experience that would relate to the job. That's going to be in this academic introduction section of the cover letter. Then your next one is your body paragraph. It's going to connect your skills, your characteristics, your experience, and your qualifications to the positions that you are applying. So it's going to show in this paragraph, okay, the skills that you have, the education that you have, now how does it tie in to the position that you are applying for? What are you bringing to the table to the position that you are applying for? So how would you and the position merge together to cr create one cohesive unit? And then the final is your conclusion and your formal closing. You then will reaffirm the qualifications that you mentioned within the body paragraph, your interest in the position, and then you want to include your contact information, and you could offer to follow up, the, follow up with the employee at a later date. And then you want to, again, end the letter just how we did greetings. You also want to end the letter at the end. So that is what makes up your the body or the or we say the paragraph by paragraph version of your cover letter. So in all, you should have your opening paragraph, which is one paragraph, your academic introduction, which will be two, your body paragraph, which will be three, and then your closing and conclusion, which will be four. So your cover letter will consist of a total of four paragraphs when you're done. Always remember that four is the number. Now, once we finished our closing, our conclusion um, par paragraph in 
the cover letter, you want to do then do your signature. So that's where you're giving your salutations again, and then you will type your name, and then you will leave a space to actually, once you print the cover letter, to actually go and then sign your name in the space in between where your greetings is and your type name signature. So that's what that space is for. That's where you will actually print it out and then you will actually sign your name in that empty space. And that will take care of the ending part of the cover letter. Some things to remember when we're doing a cover letter. Why you, why them. The style of your cover letter, the length of your cover letter, the font and the customization of your cover letter. When on this PowerPoint, you want to look at three to five paragraphs. Again, I'm saying four is the magic number because four is in between with that. So you you want to keep it to a page. So if, if you have four paragraphs and that's that one page, you are good to go as long as you are covering all of the information that, they, that needs to be in the cover letter. You do not want to go over one page for your cover letter. So always remember that. Re um, cover letter, one page. That's all they want. They do not want two and three pages because they're not going to read all that. You want to condense everything down to one page. And then also tailor your, co your cover letter and customize your cover letter to the position in which you are applying. Font, as I told you, it will be the same throughout all the way, all the way throughout the letter. And the best font is just the standard font, which will be Times New Roman 12 font. Always, those are some key things to remember when you are creating a cover letter. So as we conclude, as I conclude this short video, why does a cover letter matter? It is a narrative complement to your resume. Always, it is a complement or add on to your resume. Have the goals in mind that you want to achieve. Make sure to address two main questions. Why me and why them? Those are the two questions you always want to answer when you're doing a cover letter. Key elements, you want to make sure it adds depth to your resume. You always want to make sure that your cover letter, like I keep saying, is an add-on to your resume. So that means it's going to add on and bring value to your resume. And be specific. Highlight the specific examples of relative academic, professional, or personal experience that you feel mirror the job that you are trying to receive or the job that you are applying for. That so your cover letter will, will be more focused on the position that you are applying for and it's not just a generic one. So now when we talk about the assignment for the week, on LMS you will find your assignment for the week. It, um, again, you on the assignment it is, I believe, four to five sample cover letters. You are to tell me what is, you are to pick one of the cover letter examples. I don't care which one you pick. You just need to pick one. You need to find all the errors that are in that cover letter, state what those errors are, and then you will redo the cover letter based off this PowerPoint that we just, that I just went over. You're going to state what an accurate cover letter should look like. So that means you're going to rewrite that cover letter the right way it should be done. That is your assignment for the week. So again, your assignment for the week is to pick, I think out of the four to five cover letter examples, you are to pick one. You will state all of the problems that you found with that cover letter. That means any error, any mistake that you find, you wanna list all of those. And then you want to rewrite that cover letter in the right format. So you will see the homework assignment on LMS in the handout section. And again, you know you have until Sunday at 11.55 to complete that. If you have any questions about the homework for this week, make sure to shoot me an email, um, either at my Mars email or my personal email. Do not wait until the last minute to do the assignment. Make sure you get in contact and you get the assignment done beforehand. That is your assignment for this week. As of right now, we are scheduled to have a Zoom meeting on next Thursday. 
Um, if something changes, I will let you know. Um, but that is what we are scheduled to do. The PowerPoint for this lecture is also up in the handout section because we didn't have a chance to meet for the whole week. I will leave that PowerPoint up.